Yet again, this aging 20-something logs on to make a video on a dying platform. Here we are. It's the spooky times. It's the scary times. What's... what... <laughs> Halloween's round the corner. It's October. Ooh! Spooky, scary skeletons. All of it. We're all dying slowly over time. Ah! <laughs> Existential dread. I've been watching Snowpiercer, and there's something about the sort of, like, condensing down of society into, like, a train and purification of our current societal existentialism and society as we know it existing on just one little train. Just gives you the big scare gives you the big worry the stare out your window worry the stare up at the ceiling for hours worry you know but it's good it's really good it's a good show i recommend it watch it go watch snowpiercer it's great inktober except hang on hush hush we're not calling it inktober are we we're all making our own ones this year. It is what it is. So for about three years now, I've been doing Inktober and doing a little drawing every day. Um, I, will, I would use the word prompt and then I would make a little character about it. They started off as just weird little fantasy poncho clad wizards and witches and monsters and strange people, um, warriors and, and, and the like. Uh, and then they developed over time, you know, I, I, as I, it's quite fun actually, like, you know, it's a particular way that I work. I've been doing it the same way, essentially, from four years ago. One of these drawings, the one that's happened now, the first one, um, is showing a bit more of my process, you know, so like, I sketch it out, I sketch out the design, I have a think of it, use a mechanical pencil. Um, then I go over it with a fine liner. Normally, I use the Pigma Sakura Microns. See them? They're great fine liners. They're my favorite. They're really soft and nice to draw with. Um, and then I'll scan them in, scan in the line work, and then just color them digitally. Back in the day, I didn't color them digitally at all. I would just edit them to make the black and the white like really sharp. It's been quite interesting, actually, seeing how I've improved. It's quite an interesting one to look at how I've developed as like my drawings uh, and illustration you can see like um, over the years like getting more detailed getting more confident in my proportions and such for the last couple of years I I had a fun idea of making like little playing cards so they weren't real I didn't actually make the playing cards but like I turned the character designs into like trading card game tarot card like things. This year I've done it a little bit differently. For starters, I'm not doing a drawing every day. 2020 doesn't allow for daily drawing. Can't be dealing with a drawing every day. What are you thinking? Um, so I've been doing a drawing every other day. Uh, I made my own prompt list, then sketched out some, uh, wrote down some of my ideas for each word. Um, and I've just been designing characters, but this time, because I'm doing it every other day, they're in full color, like I'm fully coloring them. And then, uh, instead of the card theme, trading card game, I'm sort of treating them more like Dungeons and Dragons characters. So there's like a little stats, stat bar, an info bar along the side of each post. Strength, wisdom, luck, um, dexterity. They're all there. We're a few days in. I think I've just posted the fifth design. I like them a lot. It'll be at the end, probably, the last, the most up-to-date character. Uh, I've done some really cool designs. I'm really happy with these ones. I feel like they started out a little bit rocky. I wasn't too, too, too keen on my first two designs. You can see them on my Instagram, by the way. But the last three, I've been really happy with. It's quite a fun experiment, I think. It's quite a good thing to get used to because I found that I'm actually really good at designing, just going off one word. You give me one word and I will create a cool character. I've got, I've, I feel like that's a skill that I've got. You know, sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's easy, and other times it's like harder than normal. Like for example, this, today's word was uh, elemental. 
Um, you know, and I had loads of ideas. I was like, oh, am I going to do like a sort of avatar, like El master of the elements? Am I going to do some, I had an idea of doing someone that like uses a brush to draw the um, sort of symbols that mean the elements. Um, I was going to just do sort of like a wizard, a witch with like magical alchemy. Um, and then in the end, after just doodling some shapes and stuff, I just created this character that was like a fraud, like an alchemist who says he's going to turn your stuff into gold, but he's actually just like a charlatan. He's a he's a real he's a real crafty character. He's always on the run because he's always lying and trying to sell you his alchemy magics. And that's just that was I had no idea. I just was like elemental let's do an alchemist and then i was like it just took a while to get there but i was just doodling shapes and this and one and, and he and he appeared you know um that would be like the the character at the end i think the one that i'm most happy with um is the the sort of like creepy thief shadow man the one with the top hat uh little like voodoo boogeyman kind of shadow dude um, I was really pleased with him, his design, really satisfied. Again, like, I wasn't fully, I wasn't sure, the, 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 the word was trick. Thinking of, like, illusions and magic tricks, but they're actually like a thief, like a pickpocket, kind of like sleight of hand, stuff like that. Um, but I wasn't sure, like, what the image was going to be. And it just took some doodling, like, sometimes I just start drawing, like, clothing items or just shapes that I, I like the feel of. And... A character sort of just appears. Um, I feel like that's just one sort of cool habit that I feel like I've developed where sometimes I'm not happy with my drawings. Sure, sometimes it's really hard to get a, an idea out, but I'm always surprised with my ability to, if I just scribble something, I can, I can see a design. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's rubbish, sometimes it's just whatever, but other times it'll lead to something else. Um, and I think that, I think that part, part of that advice, like, well, not advice, but part of that um, sort of way of working, I feel like that's what the advice of, like, always be drawing is actually hinting at. Like, I feel like you've got to have some downtime. You've got to give yourself a rest. We can't always be drawing. And, and the people that are sort of say, like, always be drawing, that's how I got where I am. Um, I just feel like they're saying that, you know, they're saying that because that's what they want. Uh, and it's sort of like easy advice to give because it's not like genuine. It's not real. Um, so, but I feel like one useful takeaway is that think of it kind of instead of just thinking like, oh, God, I, I should just be drawing now. I'm wasting time. Um, I think it's more so every drawing that you do you're learning something from it, even if you don't realize it, you know? So um, every drawing, you're going to improve. You might hate it. You might hate every drawing that you're doing, but you're steadily improving. And I think that's sort of like a positive spin on that idea. So don't like, don't like chastise yourself for not doing enough. Don't, don't, don't like push yourself to the edge. Um, but it's more just like it's a slow burn and you're going to keep improving. Not all drawings are going to be great, but the more you do, the better you're going to get and the more you can learn and it's almost subconscious. So there you go. That's some, that's some info on challenges and drawing all the time. Huh? Is that, is that what we want to hear? How do we get big on YouTube? Huh? Do I have to do like those weird like visuals, like the thumbnails, like me going, oh, oh, oh my God. And there's like flashing lights and I say, this is how you get 2 billion subscribers. I don't got a clue. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> We're all just sitting here. Nobody has an answer. Nobody. I mean, one aspect of this thing that's going on right here between me and you where I, you're just listening to me. I, I really love the people who just say that they just have me on in the background and they do some drawing. That's cool. I like that. I like that I'm a, I'm a part of the RE world that you're 
developing yourself. Because, I mean, that's all we really want, isn't it? We just want something to shove on while we're while we're trying to create our own stuff. Huh? Trying to get on with our own stuff. But anyway, um, what, what I was trying to allude to is like, yeah, I'm rambling. I don't know really what I'm talking about. I don't think many people do. That's a weird little little discovery you find out when you're young, isn't it? When, when you grow up a little bit, you're like, oh, wait, I see. No one actually really knows what's going on. Um, bringing it back to Snowpiercer, I guess that's that's one of the themes of it, is that like everyone's like, who's running the train? The creator of the train, is he there? Is he real? Like minor spoilers, because I feel like they reveal it like straight away in the first episode. But it's like, there's this mystery man who supposedly made the train or whatever, but he's not there. There is no, there is no one running the train. There's no like leader. There's no mastermind. There's no creator. So likewise, in the real world and in this weird YouTube online world that we we, we all seem to be wrapped up in, nobody's nobody's the authority. Nobody's the number one. Of course, there are people that like sound better. There are people that definitely know what they're talking about in terms of like you got to listen to. Like, let's not let's not confuse this with me being like. I'm tired of experts because that was clearly like that right wing, that right wing like messaging of like, we're tired of the experts. Fucking global warming's real. Listen to scientists, listen to the people. They know what's going on with the real world. But I'm talking about the wishy washy in between stuff, the stuff that's subjective, you know? No one has an authority on that, the social stuff. I'm just saying. There are people that definitely sound like they know what they're talking about. There are people that, like, maybe are hinting at and that they've thought about it a bit. I feel like I appreciate those people, you know, the people who sort of are careful with their words and stuff. But no one knows what they're going on about. I think people are too eager to give out advice. They're too eager to try and sound like they're, like, really wise really sage. It just seems like too many people are, are too many people are too eager to jump at the chance to be like and this is what I think. This is how I do it. This this is this is the way to do it. This is how you do this. And I'm like slow your roll, you know? <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what I'm going on about. These are the drawings you got today. Like, I feel like, you know, I haven't done much pixel art recently. Um, I haven't done much writing recently. I've sort of just been a bit tired, but also, like, I'm doing this inkto. This is what I'm doing this month, okay? This is the content you're getting. I'm sorry it's, like, a bit similar to the character design drawing that was in the last video. Don't worry, new things will always come. There'll all be, always be something to look forward to. I appreciate you sticking around. There's gonna be new content. Maybe one day I will be able to sort of create a thriving community of artists and we'll, 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 we'll be working together, helping each other out. It will be some a place where I actually focus all my time on. But at the moment, this is kind of the limit. How, how do people do daily videos or whatever? How do people do daily Instagram posts? They must be monsters. <laughs> anyway, what, 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 what else can we chuck in this video? What, what thoughts can I add into this pot of, of video garbage? Oh shit, I've got to go on Animal Crossing because there's a fishing tournament. Yeah, there hasn't been too many games I've been playing really. Um, I haven't played any new games. Um, I haven't been playing games that much at all, really. Just been working and drawing and drawing and working, as usual. I hope you're doing what you want to do. I hope you're getting through the dark times. I hope the winter isn't too, too harsh. And I hope Snowpiercer isn't sort of weighing on your mind too much. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna change the world for the better. Hold, hold, hold in your hearts. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make, make a change, make a difference. Believe it. Um, follow some people with inspir inspirational things to say. Anyway, enough rambling, enough talking. Um, go watch some Snowpiercer. Go, go follow my Instagram. Go like my stuff. Go, 
go check out these drawings in the real space. Real? Are they real? No. They're Instagrams. No. Instagram isn't real. Neither is this. I'm just on your screen. I'm ethereal electricity. Sound and image hitting you. Hitting you in the face. <laughs> I wonder if this will ever catch on just like pure genuine stream of stream of consciousness um video making i wonder if that'll ever become a thing will it i i am I'm, I'm doubtful i've got some ideas like let's let's just i'm going to Let's just say, look, hang on, look, some drawing ideas that I haven't started. That's the scary thing. Do I promise these to you now and then don't do them? Mmm, mysterious. Um, but Twin Peaks, there was a comment a while back. Someone was like, yo, Twin Peaks is great. And I was like, and then I had an image. I've done a little sketch, but I've got an image. I've got an idea to do some like Twin Peaks pixel art. Um, also Moomin. Not as of yet. Moomin's great. Tove, Tove Janssen, um, or is it Janssen Janssen? Tove, Tove. I don't know. Um, an incredible person. Great art. Great little comics. Um, there's a there's a secret. There's a super secret 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 super secret back of the head back burner on the stove simmering away idea that I've got, that I'm not really working on at all. I, it just struck me and I just doodled it out. But I've got an idea to start maybe just doing a little comic strip type deal um, that's like about nothing other than just my thoughts. Just like a, a way of practicing writing really. And I've had that idea and it just suddenly came to me. Um, I've doodled that out, but very much inspired by the comic strips of Tove Jansen and the movement and stuff. Um, pretty much um, So we'll see if that becomes a thing, but there's other things, you know, I'm thinking more Ghibli drawings Maybe a Pikmin pixel art um, You know, I like the buildings that I did pixel buildings. Maybe some more of them. Maybe some tarot card designs These are all random thoughts. These are all in my little sketchbook the sketchbook that I've been I've had for months and months and I haven't drawn in it enough. I Really haven't I really need to just do some little whatevers. Or do I? Who says? Am I right? Rebel against the system. Who's telling you to do what? Fuck them. No one knows. It's all just a mess. The only thing that you could hold on to is, is, is true ideas. Ideas like this is the present, this is now, this is all you have control of, the past and the future, non-existent. Just be good to each other. Empathy is the key to your own happiness. You're welcome for these words, you're welcome for these images. Hope you're having a good day, I'll see you soon for another one.